Welcome to the Oregon press conference for game two. Participants to my immediate left, head coach Kelly Graves. To his left, junior Sabrina Ionescu. And to her left, sophomore Satu Sabali. We will take an opening statement from Coach Graves and then open it up to questions for the student athletes. Excited to be going to Portland. Um, two games down and we're guaranteed now a third. We're, uh, we're thrilled for that. I was really happy for the team tonight. I, I couldn't be more proud of how, they, uh, how hard they played and how well they played together. I thought offensively we got uh, a bit of our mojo back that uh, we hadn't seen for uh, for a week or two. But uh, um, you know, give Indiana a lot of credit. They came out and played really, really well. They played hard. I think Coach Terry's done an awesome job there in the few years that she's been there. That's a program that's going to be around. And uh, I feel really bad for Portland native uh, Ben Duyaney. She's, uh, you know, I've known her for a long time. She went to my wife's alma mater, and and I. You know, really feel for her. I think anytime your your tournament ends with an injury like that, you know that's a, that's a sad day. So I just want her to know that uh, all ducks everywhere are cheering for her, and and hopefully she she recovers. Um, but um, but yeah, these two I think really led us. Um, you know these these both these games I, they stepped up and played like uh, like champions and like big time elite players, and uh, that's that's what they certainly are. So we live for another day. Questions for the Oregon student athletes. Ryan. Um, well, we just needed to pick up our defensive intensity. I think we um, we allowed them to take some shots that they that they make and they're good at making, and so we just need to adjust a little bit. We went into a zone and had um, had chased some of them off the line and ended up getting some stops that led to easy transition baskets. Um, and I think that's what we did well all game. We keyed in on some of their some of their players, and um, I mean, hats off to them. They played really, really hard, and that's what we were talking about. We we would want any of them on our team. They play so hard and with so much heart, and that's awesome to see. Eric in the middle. I mean, we're just excited to be in this position. We knew um, that we had one game guaranteed on Friday, and then if we won, we'd have another one. So we're really just taking it one game at a time. But um, it was awesome that we were able to do that on our home court, and we earned that throughout the season. And to just see so many fans and people out here supporting us um, was awesome to see. They were loud, and, and the atmosphere was great. But we're just excited to be given the opportunity to have one more game in Portland, and uh, we'll learn and, and grow from there. Any other questions in the back? Um, yeah, it was cool, but I'm just honestly really happy that, that we played really well. Um, it's, it's so fun when we're moving the ball and um, having Aaron and, and Satu and Maite and Ruthie and everyone off the bench contribute and everyone scored tonight. And so just being able to, to get that last uh, game that we all have together here um, with this particular team on, on this home court was awesome. So, um, yeah, I don't, yeah. No, <laughs> no big deal. I mean, <clears throat> that's the special thing about Sabrina. She really does not care about the stats. She doesn't brag about it. She's not the kind of person who's hunting um, stats. And um, this is what makes her unique. And she's like one of the, probably the greatest teammate I've ever played with, just like with her aggressiveness and like her ambition. Um, yeah, that's Sabrina, I would say. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I want to be. I want to <laughs> be let. Back. I want to be let in on the triple double thing. I can't see the numbers way up there. Everybody else knows that it's coming. I have no clue. I just sat on sat down when I came out and I'll like, catch Numbers are too small. Points. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is amazing. Any? Well, I knew I had three rebounds in the third quarter and I wasn't really happy with that. And so um, I knew I had to get more, and then um, I mean I had people telling me you need a rebound, you need a rebound, and so I, I had looked up and saw that I, I needed a few more, um, but that not that's not necessarily what, what I was hunting. I was just happy that we were in the lead and, and we were playing well. Any other questions for Oregon student athletes? No. Okay. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take questions for Coach Graves. Yeah. Then I'll take this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. Ryan down front. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, we've come to expect this out of Audie. You know, she she plays uh, real well uh, in the NCAA tournament for whatever reason. She just really steps up her game, and we needed her tonight. You know, Ruthie was, uh, I don't think, at, at 100%, and and uh, we didn't do a great job of getting her the basketball. I think she was a little flustered at, at, at times, too. Got, got caught with some uh, travel calls. Um, and then, yeah, Aaron, you know, you just – you know that at any moment – she can break out and she hits one and now she hits four and then five. And that's just kind of how she goes. Any other questions for coach Graves, Eric, middle. Well, we're really excited to, uh, you know, to be here. This, this was a hard fought game. There's no question about that. We're, we're excited. This was one of our goals, you know, um, and like Sabrina said, it just, Gives us an, another chance to, to play in the tournament. Uh, I've really liked this. is three years in a row now. We've made it to this this level, and um, you know we we want to we want to keep it going. And we're excited to go to Portland. We didn't talk about it too much as a team. I think we had really focused on just one game, one game, one game. And uh, but it's going to be uh, a pretty special thing to to go up there. And it's kind of ironic. Uh, I guess we have Syracuse and South Dakota State tomorrow, both of whom we already played this season. And the other two teams that are already there, Mississippi State and Arizona State, we've already played. So it'll be kind of a reunion where we'll know a little bit of everybody up there, which is it doesn't happen too often, I don't think, in, in the tournament this way. So Ken to the left. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we talked about that today. You know, it, it's it's not always the, the playmaker isn't always the point guard or or the uh, the creative guard. It Tonight was our post player because they had to collapse, and that opens up uh, the perimeter. And then if they don't, she can usually take most people one on one. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those games. You know, she uh, she ha played a different role for us. And the question for Paul on the left. Yeah. Well, our defensive effort tonight wasn't like it was on Friday, and it came and went <laughs> tonight. Uh, you know, we had some spurts, though, and when we created some, some turnovers and we were able to get out and go, that's when we were at our best. But give them a lot of credit. They have really good guards. They handle it. Uh, they, they, you know, they penetrate well. Um, they're explosive, and, and that gave us some, some trouble tonight. So we had to mix the zone in with the man and – some different coverages within. So we, we kind of threw everything at them we had. And at times it still didn't work. So we got to continue to get better defensively, no question. Ryan on the right. I have. And, and she's really the player that can separate us, you know, and, and make us uh, to an elite team. When she plays like she did in the second half tonight, I thought she struggled a little bit in the first half. The second half, she was incredible. And the way she played that on Friday night, there aren't many players in the country that can do what she does and impact the game in as many ways. So, um, yeah, there's, there's no question she will be one of the keys going forward. Any other questions for Coach Graves? Rick on the right. Yeah, so given that you kind of look ahead to next week and start redrawing up a few more plays for her? <laughs> we actually have a lot in that that we – you know, can use and, and did a couple. There was one early in that game where we ran to her. She had a layup. The ball went up and over the backboard. I think she just lost it. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, we certainly do. I won't divulge them now. You know, the questions for Coach Graves. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. All right, you guys.